Steve Collins was the champion and um, he sort of, uh, he didn't fancy the fight. You know, I, I, he said he was injured. There's a couple of reasons, but yeah, I understand why he didn't. You know, obviously he was, he was in big fights with uh, Eubank and Ben and obviously he's fighting this young kid that's not really got a massive name, 20 knockouts in 21 fights. Is it worth the gamble? But then stepped uh, Chris Eubank, who, um, if anything, I was more wary of with the Eubank because he's one of them guys that when his back's against the wall, he's a dangerous, dangerous fucking animal. But you, you know? put him on his ass the first, what is it, 20 seconds, the first minute or something? Man, I, that's the thing. It's probably the worst thing I did, right? Because <laughs> bear in mind, I knocked my first 20 fights before my hands started packing in because my hands got worse as my career mm -hmm. went on. I knocked 19, I think, of the first 20 fights. And um, I went eight rounds twice, five rounds once. Everybody else was knocked out first two rounds. So he boxed in the guy at Eubank who's been in wars, who's seasoned, man. He knows him, to get in there. I always remember, like, the press conference, I was, I was cocky as fuck. So I remember, I think it was at the Grove, and I was like, fucking Chris Eubank. You know what I mean? I'm a fucking boy from looking on the train from the valleys. <laughs> you know I mean? in the funny, in the, I finally got the spotlight. And he, I see his Ali Davis, and I was like, fucking, I, was, I, love, I love watching Eubank, Ben, and Collins, and all these. So I remember saying, I just remember looking across to him, and he's like, I said, I'm going to knock you out. <laughs> he just looked at me and went, I'm gonna take you to one place that you've never been. I'm gonna take you to the wow. And I'm looking, it was fucking wow, right? But trust me, in that fight, after three or four rounds, I was fucked. That's the only way to explain it. I was exhausted. Um, I think that um, I didn't know how to sort of pace myself. The excitement got to me. And dropping him with my first left hook, like Eubanks down, I'm like trying to finish him, hitting every, throwing everything at him. Nothing more disheartening after about five, six rounds when you know you're only halfway for the fight. Inside, you know you're not going to knock him out. And you, and you see him walking around doing this, like walking around the ring and I'm like out of breath and panting, but you know, it's just exhausted, absolutely exhausted. And he was true to his promise, you know, he did take me to the well. And it was by far the toughest fight I ever had as regards to exhaustion. I was fucking completely exhausted, man. Like I couldn't move for three days afterwards. Like lactic acid could not move. It was really, really tough. And like I said, I because he'd only lost two fights prior to that, too, Steve Collins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, but he was. I think because Eubank used to fight, he had a good rest. And uh, fuck, he was. He was as tough. he is tough as people say that like, I've always rated him people love to hate him but people love to because he's that yeah. guy when you see him you do want to watch him because it's his character mm. it's his, his things that he does is what he says but what a fighter so when you put yeah. him on his ass and he told you look you're coming to the trenches with me like, and, I was, yeah, and, and, I was and then but every time every interview I've watched with you Bank, he's always spoke highly of you because people says you couldn't punch but he says you're fast and you're, you're and it's painful Steve yeah. Collins, every time I watched him, because I watched you all sitting around the table, he never ever seemed to give you credit. Why do you think that is? Do you think he was oh, fearful of you? Um, Collins, I just think, well, I, I, to be honest, I, I honestly believe, like, I believe Collins would have been an easier fight than Eubank. Well, saying easier, because Eubank was fucking tough, man. Do you know what I mean? But I mean, I was preparing for you. I was preparing for Steve Collins, different style than Chris Eubank. Like Steve Fallen Collins, Steve comes to you. I love counter punching. Like, it was lacy fights. I love people coming to me. I was preparing for Steve Collins. So when Eubank, when he sort of retired 10 days before the fight, Eubank was already boxing on the, on the card. He was already fit. But I was more worried about Eubank because, you know, you see what happened with himself and Michael Watson, he got injured. So you're a young kid and you see how dangerous he can be. You've seen him against Nigel Benn. He goes down, he gets back. And he's tough. And he was hungry. He wanted, and I'm like, okay, I was more nervous. I'll be honest with you, I was more, a bit more nervous fighting Eubank than I was uh, fighting Steve Collins. And um, yeah, like I said, man, I, I remember I was supposed to come in the ring at 10, got pushed back to 11 o'clock. I didn't get in the ring till fucking 12 o'clock, right? So I got so excited in the change rooms. Me and dad done about fucking 15 rounds on the pads, right? So I, was, <laughs> I remember getting in the ring, I was all like, the music, you know, uh, uh, was it Chef of the Ring? Oh man, I was just fucking, like I said, I was, I was just, after the first couple of rounds, I was tired. I was knackered, I was exhausted. Then like I said, impatient myself, nervous energy and so on. And imagine everything you've ever trained for all your life on that one night from going, not just financially, but your dream as a 10 year old to become world champion against somebody that I've admired and watched 
as an amateur watching him against Ben Watson, you think, oh, one day I'll have to fight him. And you're fighting him. Yeah. You know? 